Good morning and happy Sunday. We are maybe potentially calling it a home vlog day. We don't know yet. We don't know yet. Peter can't be in this clip because he says he's too greasy. <laughs> are you are you ready to be seen? I'm ready to be seen. <laughs> I'm ready for my close up, Mr. Deville. But we got some work to be done. We got some housework to be done. I'm gonna bake some banana bread. And if we're lucky, we'll grocery shop. <laughs> no, we're definitely grocery shopping, but I'm calling this a home vlog. Lucy is Malfoy. You do. <laughs> and my eyes are watering for some reason. I guess I'm really not vlog ready, but here we are. I made this banana bread. I also want to remind everybody <laughs> to check their oven before they preheat it. Can you so look I, that up? I want to see how shiny the other side is. I did not know that was in there and I ruined it. But I made some delicious vegan banana bread. Actually, I don't know if it's delicious yet because I haven't tried it. But that melted. All of a sudden, like Sarah preheated the oven and was like got busy with something with James. And all of a sudden, like I've been work I was working all day until about 4:45. Um, I was like, so I smell some things. And Sarah's like, nothing's in the oven. I was just preheating it, like just he heating it. And I walk over, open it up, and that is just molten. And all of that was dripping and stuck to the bottom so then i had to cool it off and so sorry chip it all away and everything and then we had to bake it open up the windows because the like it smells of burning glass or plastic yeah it was a joint effort peter put it in there and it shouldn't have been and i didn't check when i should have but we got past it yeah the oven's we... actually more clean than yeah. before but i think i did ruin i think i did ruin those those that oven mitt what do you do is it good can i have it yeah Something we are just happy. And guess what? Eve is the probably the person that's the most upset right now. Sarah just went to the grocery store, leaving me and James alone. And Eve is here as well. But Eve is guarding the door, waiting desperately for Sarah's return. But we're doing good so far, right? Just hanging out. Might cry a little bit, might poop a little bit, might need an outfit change. But regardless, we're gonna have some fun, even if it's just for these like 25, 35 minutes that mom's gonna be gone. Right, James? We got this. Okay, so we're doing something a little different tonight. I was pretty hesitant about it at first, um, but I'm going grocery shopping. I, I was having trouble leaving the baby, um, but also like, pushing and pulling at the fact that like Peter did work today and that he didn't get to spend a lot of time. So Peter would then have to go out and go grocery shopping um, and have more time away from him. And so I think it was a good decision overall. We said if I ever wanted to just turn around and go home, I could, if I don't want to get everything um, and all of that. And it was kind of one of those things that like I knew after the fact, I'd feel happy that we did it. I do want James to be able to be without me and be okay. And I mean, he's he's 10 weeks old today. Um, I know he's very much so okay. We have milk for him at home to eat. Um, and truly that's like the big thing is, that's why my presence is more so, um, you know, prioritized because of feeding him, but Peter's more than capable of um heating up milk it's just one of those times where it's like i went to one 30 minute acupuncture session and um so that's the time that i was away from him and i've been away from him while i you know go on the rides like you saw yesterday and little moments here and there but to actually like leave the house um it took some convincing but i feel decent and um yeah, I think it's cool to talk about that. That's something that um, isn't necessarily a struggle, but just a hurdle 
that families have to deal with when um, when they have little little ones, big ones, any anything at home that it, it's difficult to to separate yourself from. So I just stopped at Walgreens. They had a pop deal, super pumped, because now I don't have to stop at Publix with my fingers crossed, hoping that they have one. We haven't had Pepsi in a while. Um, and I picked up pictures for our holiday cards. I mean, a little tardy, but I think that it'll still bring smiles to people's faces arriving in the mail late, so I don't mind. So I will show you those pictures now. So they're kind of goofy. Um but it is James underneath our Christmas tree, black and white photo with a little bow on his head because he's just the greatest present. So this is gonna go inside cards with maybe like a handwritten birth announcement. I mean, we basically shouted from the rooftops when he arrived, um, but something along those lines of the greatest gift we could have received. So there's our sweet little picture of our boy. What do you do when myself, mom goes out to the grocery store? You finish stuff. watching a minimalist Netflix special that just came out and being prepared as we pack up Christmas tonight that a Brookhart so cleanse 3.0 is happening in this move back to Chicago. Can we go even more simplistic, James? Can we? You're right, we can. We are off to the kitchen to make that a uh, spot of tea. You want some? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I didn't realize that this one closed at eight, but I finished just in time. I'm so excited for the meals I have planned the next couple of weeks. Oh yeah. Party time on the swing. With my toes up. Point him. I will be a ballerina. Point him. On point. Yeah. Jamesy is his name and dancing is his game. Oh yeah. You were just giggling. It's this camera. Oh, kick it. Woo! Kick it. Kick it. Woo! So as you know, this may look like a boring moment in the vlog for you, but this is by far what I've wanted to do my entire life. This is better than any, oh, sorry, any Moonlight Magic, Disney theme park, James E is his name, and music is his game. He likes to go running with dad when he's older, maybe. Or maybe you'll hate running, like mom. You're gonna be your own person. So I am home, I'm going to do a haul. Our counters are still kind of crazy from the plastic baking fiasco earlier. Um, but I'm gonna do it on the small section actually like go through this stuff. Um, Peter and I have been talking about going back plant-based. I'm, I'm really calling it mostly plant-based, but at home we, we truly are. So nothing that I bought had any animal products in it. I also have had this idea, which I think will be really good for Peter getting back into running um, and for me to just feel better and to feel like I'm getting all the nutrition I need for me and for James is making these bowls. I've seen them on Instagram, a few of the plant-based people that I follow. And basically they always just have like little, I don't know, mini, I don't know, it's not maybe mini, but they just have little, I don't know, maybe you just call them sides, like a lot of sides that you layer over a bowl of quinoa or a bowl of rice and then you kind of just mix and match different flavors different dressings and then they're called like power bowls kind of like if you were to go to the bar at whole foods and get just like a bunch of stuff and pile it on um so that is my plan for the next upcoming week just to be super filling but super yummy and a lot of different flavors and then this way I can share what I make on the vlog with all of you, um, what I like, what I don't like, but just the recipes will then be out there if you wanna be inspired to make similar dishes. So in the back are some things that'll spunk up salads or um, actually I found a 
like a white pasta sauce where you grind up sunflower kernels to make the sauce. Um, so I'm gonna try that out. I got some artichokes, some banana pepper rings, everything bagel seasoning. I was out of pepper and olive oil and agave. All of those things can be quickly made into dressings or fun toppers. Same goes with the hummus, then quinoa. They also usually have some fun pastas like that's edamame spaghetti. And then I did get just some like normal bow tie pasta. This is Greek vinaigrette. Again, this is all stuff to make those different bowls. Maybe some corn chips to top. These could also just be a snap. Some rice, tortillas, and then um, just this Italian bread. I was thinking of just, you know, toasting one or even using the panini press to make veggie sandwiches on that. So this is kind of like the enhancement section of our haul. Okay, here is the, the bulk of our produce. We have lemons and limes. We go through those so quick. Um, some of these little peppers, tomatoes, zucchini, squash, eggplant. I'm gonna make the ratatouille. I actually, I've never bought kale in my life. It's gonna go in this pasta dish, that same one I was talking about with the sunflower seed sauce. Um, romaine hearts and spinach avocados, radishes. I'm gonna pickle radishes myself, a cucumber, and mushrooms. So the good and the bad thing about Aldi is that a lot of their veggies are pre-packaged, which means a lot of plastic, that's the downside. But the good side is that a lot of the times you get three, you get four, you get more than maybe you would like typically buy. And obviously Aldi has really great prices. I don't know if, if you did not know that Aldi has really great prices. That's like kind of what they're known for. Um, so I always end up having extra vegetables for things that I didn't plan for. And then that causes, you know, for me to come up with other things to, to make. Um, so most of these will just be prepared in different yummy ways and then put on top of those bowls where there's quinoa or rice or pasta or whatever. But then next I'll show you the basic veggies that I always have. Um, in the house just because they're really good for being kind of, I mean, the base of the meal. And so these things are more just like basic elements, like the potatoes will be good base for these bowls that I've been talking about. Same with the cauliflower. Um, almost everything I cook starts with sauteing onions. I did get one red one, but typically I get the sweet onions. Um, so yeah, these, these items I kind of always like to have at home because they can be a starting point for basically any meal. And lastly, the, the canned items. Got some diced tomatoes, crushed tomatoes for different veggie meals I've planned. Garbanzo beans to add to different salads, but I also really want to try them in the air fryer. Some black beans, it's always just good to have those. Um, I think they'll be good additions to the bowls I've been talking about. Veggie stock is just one of those things that I always have in the fridge. And then this coconut milk is for a specific um, coconut curry recipe that I'm gonna try out. So all, all of that, everything I showed was $91. I was trying to stay below 75, but there were a couple of things like the olive oil and the seasonings that I typically wouldn't have to buy, but we were just out of it. So I'm pretty happy with how much I spent. I honestly think I can make a ton of great meals out of all of that. Um, and yeah, I think that we have not cooked regularly since the holidays because we stayed at Disney so many different weekends and with my mom coming and just having specific meals planned for each different holiday. It's It has been a long time since we've had like a stocked fridge and I think that that's really good for our just routine and just our feeling, um, I don't know, good and just regimented in our everyday life. And so I'm really excited to get back to cooking and back to eating to feel good. So for a quick dinner tonight, I'm gonna throw these. Hey, you can't have potatoes. They're super quick red potatoes olive oil, lemon juice, some Dijon mustard, and then salt, pepper, garlic, oregano in the air fryer. We've been doing the max crisp setting for like eight minutes and then you take it out and shake and then another eight minutes. 
and then I made I was inspired by the Amy Schumer learns to cook and made little crostini so I just crisped up some bread put some hummus on it and then mixed some of those artichokes I had just showed with some spinach and tomatoes with everything seasoning on top and there's our quick dinner oh looky here Peter's training for a marathon in April. Oh, we gotta sign up for it now. <laughs> There's one in Milwaukee. When I come back, I want to see a registration email. Oh gosh. Milwaukee is doing their the marathon. pricing changes tonight. Uh, yeah, pricing changes potentially before I'm back in this run. Oh gosh. Um, Milwaukee is slated to have their race in person in April, Ex pretty much 12 weeks from now. So that's 12 weeks is a standard training block. So it'd be good for me and Grant both to get. Yeah. Um, that in there and then I think I that you that you really like miler. you really like having a a goal yeah I think we're gonna start setting monthly fundraising goals for ACS too Ooh. okay it's like there's such a oh, yeah bye bye just as much as we love talking to you guys Peter and I love talking to each other and so I feel like he's been getting ready to go on this run for ever so that's why I shoot him away Back from my run, it went well, did a 5K. Um, first time, honestly, our first time I've run since Wilderness Lodge. So that fun vacation is for sure over. So back to the grind. I'm actually signing up for races to be like milestones before um, the big ones. But I don't know if Sarah told you, but she picked me up a planter's wart freezing device at Walgreens. I won't show you, so don't get freaked out. I've never done this before, and I've got uh, two wicked ones in the bottom of my right foot, so great thing to do right when I start back to running. I should have done this like when I wasn't going to run for a while, but <laughs> figure it out, right? <laughs> Jamesy boy is his name, and bath time is his game. He's starting to like put his fist in his mouth, but then he like doesn't know what to do next, he says, so sometimes he gags. He says all the power to the people. <laughs> Jamesy boy, wait until we start protesting in the streets of Chicago. Can't wait. Turns out uh, James loves Schitt's Creek, specifically Moira Rose. Every time she's on, he's... Really? She does have great style. I know. All right, our mysterious blank calendar says that today is January 10th. The more I want to get something done, the less I call it work. Super true. I don't know if we said it, but I did officially sign up for the Milwaukee Marathon in April. Makes the move to Chicago feel that much more real. Um, we could hear as early as tomorrow about the apartment we put an application for, but I think it's going to be Tuesday. Uh, but you never know. And then it'll be really real. We could start planning uh, logistics and everything on getting the move up here because it's not going to be as straightforward as other travels to Chicago because we have all of our stuff and a car and a baby. Um, exciting. It all will feel like <sighs> once we secure the apartment. So it would be really nice if it was tomorrow. Sarah did a bunch of organizing and cleaning. Thank you. And cooking and just general taking care of me and our family. Me? Thank you. Our on the ball, doing lots of stuff right now. We should go to a park tomorrow, Hard Disney Springs. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are, we know what we hope to accomplish, and believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>